Dan Hansen is a force to be reckoned with down on the Gulf Coast. So specifically, the folks in New York and New Jersey should be listening to what Dan has to say. Go ahead, Dan. We got involved with this uh, six or seven years ago, dealing with the wind problem in lower Alabama. Uh, along the way, they learned that Texas, Louisiana, North Carolina, and pretty soon New York has a huge wind problem as far as premiums goes, as well as, as flood. Uh, please everybody give a round of, round of applause to Representative Green from Houston. Please give a round of applause. Uh, let me start with this. I think it's important for us to discuss very briefly why people are denying certain things. If you deny the existence of a thing, you don't have to do anything about it. So I am a person who starts first with the notion that there's a new normal. And with a new normal, you have to change the paradigm that you had. You cannot expect the policyholders to cover the totality of premiums given the new normal. 24.6 billion is going to go up exponentially after these last two events. And given that it's going up exponentially, those who would pass all of this to the policyholders are making a mistake. We cannot do it. So we have to re-examine the paradigm. There are several aspects of it that have to be re-examined. One, the role of the federal government, which of course is to provide for the safety and welfare of its people the role of private insurance, which is not to cherry pick the There you go, there you go. That's not the role. That's not the role. We've got to allow private insurance to be involved if they're willing to assume some risk. Next point, we have to, we have to decide whether or not we are approaching that time when we have to have some sort of national disaster insurance. Absolutely. There you go. It's something that's going to deal with the fires that take place right. in California. Tornadoes. Deal with the tornadic activity that takes place. Right. The dust storms that can create havoc in the lives of people. Uh, we've got to re-examine the paradigm. If we stay with the old paradigm, we're going to find that you're going to have the same problems that we're having now People who are victims of Superstorm Sandy not having been compensated properly to this day. It really is time for us to redefine the way we're going to approach what is now becoming a national issue for all of us to consider. People who live in Houston, Texas, there are some people who are literally now saying, you really should move. Well. If we move, your gas prices are going up. Uh, you got the finest medical center in the world there. Uh, people are attached to more than the homes. Their jobs are there. Uh, there are other things that impact the entirety of the nation. I think Dr. King said it best. He said, life is an inescapable network of mutuality tied to a single garment of destiny. What impacts one directly impacts all indirectly. So indirectly, we are all involved in what's happening, and directly, we must all have input so that we can resolve these issues and have a flood insurance program that really does protect people and not profits for insurance companies. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if I can hold on to you one more minute. I, I was supposed to go on and explain in another three minutes that the, uh, the, the need for a study of a national, all perils, all multi-state uh, insurance mechanism. You just said it very eloquently. Well, when you and expand I, the pool, right. that's what you're saying. That's, you expand the pool, uh, you then can spread the losses over a larger group of people. But I would also add this. I think what you're doing here is exceedingly important. Uh, I think that you should take this message to the realtors, and the builders, uh, people who have a stake in this have to start to consider this. And I think that the way you are presenting this message, perspicuously clear, I might add, I think that that will make a difference. So let's spread the word. I spoke to the realtors just recently in Texas, and one of the things that I brought up was this notion of a study. And I, in fact, asked them if they would uh, start the process of having a study performed. I think we have to do it. There, there are many entities that ought to be involved, and we have to engage them all. So I'm sorry I approached on No, no, please. Congressman Green, round of applause. Get him out of here, round of applause. Thank you again.